Hey guys, it's Becca. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is the long-awaited finale to the eighth round of the Roulette Pan Collab. This was a project created by Rebecca, Morgan, and Alexi, and if you're here, you probably are already familiar about it, but I will leave their information down below. It is a random number generated kind of driven project where you have a whole list of categories, you randomly num generate numbers to correspond with those categories, and then pick products that correspond with that category, and then you try to pan it in whatever way suits you best. If you're interested in seeing how I have done since the last update, then just keep on watching. As I said before, I will have Rebecca Morgan and Alexi's channel information linked down below, as well as the community playlist for this project, because there are a lot of gals doing this and we're all rooting each other on. And I'm kind of sad for this to be the finale, but also kind of excited to have a little bit more room in my vanity for other projects. So that's pretty exciting. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on into the products. I have my handy dandy project pandy notebook here. And the first item that I have on my list is from Nine Number 94, that is my least expensive eyeshadow palette. And for this, I interpret it to mean the palette that I spent the least money on. And that one would be obviously something that I had gotten at CVS, and it is this. I spent about 64 cents on this palette. This is the LA Girl Pro Artistry, and I'd used it a couple of times, and some of the shades in here were just really calling to me, like especially during the winter here. If you cover up those oranges, this is like a really gorgeous, um, winter kind of palette here but my goal was to use each shade at least, least one time and as of today it is the 13th I am filming this I have used each shade one time on my eyes since last month and this one here is actually on my eyes I kind of cut that one close so I am wearing the last shade on my eyes today so I have met my goal on this first product the second item comes from category number 45 and that is a product that reminds you of your favorite Disney villain So Captain Hook and me have been hanging out the last month and I have been using this black eyeshadow from Natasha Denona because From the once upon a time series. He is very well known for his guy liner. So this reminded me of it I don't know if you can even see but there's a bit of disruption in the pan there I used it well over ten times just about every single time I used it as a liner I think one time I got brave and used it to deepen up, but then I was like ah, oh, that's too much black but I did enjoy pulling this out and playing with it, and I have also met my goal because I wanted to use it at least 10 times, and I have done that. The next product that I have here is my most expensive base product, which is category 87, and for me, that was my IT Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. I also had another product from IT Cosmetics that was the exact same price. I chose to use this one. I used this one... 41 times in the first month that it was in. This is the second month that it has been in and I used it 40 times this month So I'm pretty consistent with that. I've used it every single time. I mean, there's still plenty of product in here um, It is starting to spit a little so we're getting close to the end here, but I have a while to go I'll just keep on using it see how much longer this lasts me the next product is from category 90, and that is a single eyeshadow, and I use the Deep Potted shade from my Bad Habit Luna palette. I'll go ahead and pop up pictures of how it looked the first month, and then my update last time. And this is what it is looking like now. Like there's just a tiny little sliver of product in the corners there. And for the purposes of this product project, I am considering this done and completed because I am planning on wearing this tomorrow. There is a look that I love that I have come up with by combining this shade with the Jackie Ina palette with this on the outer half of my lid and trust issues on the inner half of my lid. And it just like, mwah, I love it. So that will probably use up the rest of that shade. So yeah. I'm just about done with this. Super excited to be able to recycle and reuse this little magnetic pan. Item number five is from category 63, and that was a Franken product, and I'm not sure that I have too many of those in my collection, or I didn't at the time when I was rolling things in, so I created one, and that was two powders put together. It is the Ulta Beauty Flower Power Powder. I crushed it up and made it into a loose powder, and then I combined it with my um, Tarte Smooth Operator. Um, finishing powder and I have been really loving that my goal was to use three grams of this I will go ahead and pop in pictures of me having weighed this when I brought it in and then this month And as you can see I have used 
3.5 grams. I did a little bit of math there, started in at 72 plus grams, and then we're a little bit over 68 grams. So I have used three and a half grams of this product here, and I am very happy to continue using this. I will probably keep it in my vanity until it's actually used up. Um, the Flower Power Powder is one of my favorite mattifying, setting, finishing powders right now. So I'll probably once I use some more things, repurchase it. And the final item that I have been working on was from category 36, a product from a controversial brand. And I was working on my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I had bought this last February. I got a two pack of them or something and I had used one of them up really quickly. And then this one just sat in my drawer for forever, completely unused. So I pulled it out last month actually two months ago whenever I rolled it in, used it a bunch, there was still some left, and this time I can say that it is done. I have completely finished it, you can't even hear it shake anymore, so I am so happy to have another setting spray out of my collection. So I have met my goal on four out of the six products and I am pretty sure that I will meet my goal on the single eyeshadow as well before the 15th of the month when the uploads and everything are supposed to be going live. But I will leave a little note or a comment or something down below to let you guys know how that works out for me. That is all that I have to say about the products that I have been working on since the last update, but I do have my whole list here. I have printed it out so that I have all of the categories and I cross them off as I complete them. So the, since this is my first round, most of the categories are still untouched, but I did finish 15 categories in this round and I'm really hoping that we will be doing this again soon, and I can just continue working on these categories, seeing how far I get. I will leave a list of the categories that I worked on and what I used to fulfill those categories down below. And anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you are staying healthy and safe and in good spirits. And if you have not already, it would mean so much to me if you would consider subscribing. And I hope I see you guys in the next one.